In this video, I am going to explain how to get manager name and then we will see how we can uh, set an approval so that the manager can approve it and then uh, we will see how we can change the status as well. Probably a few things you have already seen, uh, but this is a flow that we are going to do on the leave request uh, uh, list is there and then we will do the approval after uh, retrieving the manager name. So let me open the SharePoint list. So if you'll see here, this is my leave request list, which is having a title column, start date, end date, leave type, uh, description, leave status. So uh, leave status is uh, a choice column. Leave type is a choice column as well. So if you'll click on new item, you can see here someone will apply leave here. And then finally, you can see here the status will get changed based on the approval or rejection. And we can do this. Apart from that also we will send notification to uh, the person who is applying the leave so that he will get notified whether the leave has been approved or not. So there are two ways that you can start the uh, flow or the power automate we say. Um, either you can go from here uh, create a flow uh, or you can uh, uh, go to flow.microsoft.com and then you can start from there. So you have the option. So if you'll go to flow.microsoft.com then you have to select a template and then you can start with it or you can go to blank and then you can start from there as well if you want a automated workflow you can start it from here the other way is if i will go from this particular list i will say create a flow and then if you'll see here it is showing me um, a lot of templates which are uh, uh, which are applicable to this uh, particular uh, um, a particular uh, list and in this case since we are uh, um, uh, you can see here there is one thing is saying request manager approval for a selected item so there is the thing we, where you can uh, you will get approval from the manager if i'll click on this uh, then you can see here um, it will uh, this is the template that has been selected and uh, then you can see here actually there are a lot of things are auto, auto populated here. So if you look at this, there's a SharePoint Office 365 view, just an approval, mail, and then notifications. So you can just click on flow. And then when you will click on flow, it will show the whole template. So if you'll go from, this is the flow that has been created and you can just click on edit flow. And then in that flow, you will be able to see uh, the details. For example, this is the selected item that we are talking about on this, for example, here, there is a site address and leave request so list name and then uh, if you'll come to the get item so there is uh, the id is retrieving and then uh, you can see here get profile which will give uh, your uh, you can retrieve uh, the profile about yourself for example it will it will return your details from the id and then finally you can see here uh, the get manager where you will send uh, the user principal name or the email id you can send and it will uh, uh, it will uh, it will um, uh, get this and then here if you'll see uh, these uh, uh, send approval is there so you can see here it will it will say uh, first one to respond and then you are sending the email to this person from this uh, block the mail will come from for the particular user so for example here my manager is xyz you will get the email for the xyz so this will the sturgeon we have assigned to here and uh, then there is few conditions that you can add here you can see here if it is approved then you can send an email uh, that it is approved else you can send an email that it is rejected and uh, then you can meanwhile you can also add some steps and you can um, you can um, change the status as well but what we will do here is this this one part of it uh, where you can use this template directly but the other one what we will do is i will delete uh, this uh, flow of course you can use it it will it will work as it is you can just add things over there but uh, since it's a full template everything is there so i'll just delete it and uh, what we will do here is I will go again to the same SharePoint list and we will try to create a flow here, create a flow. And this time what we'll do is we will just select the first one, which is saying uh, send a customized email when a new SharePoint list at item is added. So I, once I select this, you can see here now the template, whatever it is there, it will just send an email uh, when an item is submitted. So you can just click on create flow. Now the flow will get created and uh, if you will click on edit 
you can see here just three steps are there one is when a new item is created it will trigger the flow second one is the get profile so it will get the user details and then send email if you'll see here here email given name these are coming from this office 365 get my user profile action so from there it is coming so you don't need to really add anything you can just add this action and then you can retrieve the properties so uh, this is one thing so by this time the email will trigger or a notification will trigger to the user so this is basically the uh, the trigger will go to the current logged in user now to to uh, do this you can just save it and if if you can you can come here then uh, you can go and you can submit one item here so i will say let's say leave request and uh, here we have not anything related to manager or anything so it will basically trigger a email uh, to the logged in user or the user who has actually uh, submitted so you can just refresh and you will be able to see the status as well so if i'll go to the flow again it will just take some time and then i'll click on edit sorry not edit go to the flow just click on that flow you will be able to see the running status here so now you can see here uh, there is a workflow which is just succeeded so if i will open my email i should be able to receive it you can see here there is a new item is added this is just customized email whatever microsoft out of box provided you can change it anytime but now what we will do is first thing is we will now uh, do our stuff here so first thing is we'll retrieve the uh, manager name of this current user so i will click on uh, new step and here if you'll see search for get manager you'll be actually able to see get manager v2 so this is the second v2 version so um, this this can be changed i mean uh, you can see a newer version as well so click on get manager v2 and then here you need to provide the principal name user principal name or the email id both the things are fine and in this case if you'll see here i will take the email id from the uh, created by person who actually created this item i'll take created by email field one and once you have it then you can now get the user's manager name display name everything you can get it so the next thing what we'll do is once we have the manager name we want to have an approval so i'll click on new step and then here if you'll see i will say approval and you can see here start and wait for an approval so click on this and then if you'll see here now it is showing us what is the type of approval we will say approve or reject first one to respond that means whenever the first response will come we will take that since it's just a manager we have single person so i took this action and then it is saying uh, the title so i will say leave uh, request from and then probably we can take the username who actually uh, done that so i will say created by and then i will take the display name so that display name will come and now the important thing it is saying whom you want to assign it so if you'll add dynamic property you can see here get manager v2 and this has a property called mail and you can use this apart from that if you want other properties you can see see more and you will be actually able to see various other properties whichever has set you can get those things for example department display name given name all these properties you will be able to get it so i am doing this assign to and uh, then if you want to send details about it you can add it or if you want to just send one email or link for example i will say uh, to view the details you can uh, click the below link or click the link and uh, if you'll see here i can have the link to item there is a link to item is there uh, which is uh, which will actually uh, the display form url that means whenever user will click over here uh, they will navigate to the display form now next thing is once you have this then now we can actually check what is the approval or the outcome so we can take one condition here so if you'll click on new step then you can see here there is a condition is there and in this condition you can have a yes no condition 
now on this first of all the condition will come as the outcome will come this outcome variable you can see here this will hold the outcome of this approval so select it if it is equal to approve you can see here if it is approved then uh, you can uh, go to the yes condition where you can change the status you can send the email those things you can do for example if i want to send an email so i'll click on add an action and then there's a email action you can see here on this email uh, it will you can see here send email notification so you can use this and then to whom you want to send the email it is uh, the created by person so i'll say created by email and then the subject i will say leave request approved and then uh, same thing i can put over there i will say leave request approved you can actually uh, take the dynamic values as well for example in this case if you see here we can take uh, the approval for this manager for example the manager probably the display name we can say their leave request approved by this particular user and then similarly uh, for the no condition if we'll go here we can quickly do the same thing email send email and i will take the created by created by email and this time we will say rejected and then uh, just rejected we will put it here this time and now next is we can update the item for example in this case as i told you i have a status column so this is the status column that you can see here so if it the status will be if it is uh, for example it is approved then we can change the status to approved if it is rejected then we can change the rejected so here click on action add an action then you can search for update and if you'll come down you will be able to see here uh, and update item you can see here this is saying update item select this and uh, now it is saying the site address and then uh, um, uh, the list name everything so in this case this is my site name and the list name is this one id so it will be our id for example this is the field and the title we will take the title of this particular item so we will take from the list uh, properties so you can see here list uh, title here it is and uh, then uh, you, you, you can leave all these things but the leave status you can see here we will say it is approved now the same thing we can do it here for uh, for this uh, rejection and instead of uh, uh, rejection what we will do is we will say this is sorry instead of approved that time we will say this is rejected so if we, if i'll go here i will select the same thing update uh, list item so let me just search, search here update list item you can see here update item and then we will select the same sharepoint list and then the id so id of this item so you can see here the title and uh, this is the title of the item so we can check this one and uh, the leave status as i said it will be now rejected so this completes our uh, uh, stuff here so whatever we wanted to do you, you can rename these things actually you, uh, to uh, to make this uh, uh, to make this meaning more useful for example i will say uh, update item update status to approved and uh, same thing for here also you can just click on this triple dot rename sorry triple dot and then uh, rename and you will say update uh, status to rejected now on this uh, basically you will see here i will just click on save now our workflow uh, or sorry our flow is done now uh, it is uh, there is no problem on these things uh, now what we will do is we will uh, send or we will save one item on that particular uh, list and then we will see whether this workflow is triggering or not 
So I will go to this uh, SharePoint list. You can see here, this is the uh, SharePoint list. I'll click on new item and then I will say pizza leave. So you can put a description. Let me put this the start date and the end date. I want to go for this two days leave. It's a medical leave and uh, it will be in progress by default. If you don't want, then you can, you don't need to fill it and then click on save. So once you click on save, you can see here there is a, it is a leave status is in progress now. So we, by default, because this is the start. So you have three fields over there in progress, approved and reject. Now it is in progress because this is the beginning. Now what I will do is I'll go to my flow and click on this. Probably we will see whether the workflow is trigger or not. Not yet. It is not trigger yet. Now you can see here the workflow is progress now. If you will click on this, you will be able to see where your workflow now. So if you will see here, this is executor, green mark, green mark, green mark, green mark. And then the stat and wait for approval. Here it is pending or in progress symbol you can see here. Now let's see this send email has been worked or not. Ideally, I should receive an email. You can see here, this is the email, um, uh, which, which is just a, um, a default email. But uh, now I will check with uh, the manager. So I have logged in in another browser. If you will see here, I already received the email. You can see a leave request from Vijay and this is the details by default and then approve. So I'll click on approve and then I will say approved and then click on submit. So once you click on submit, uh, the workflow should now next step should execute. Let me just refresh once. Now you can see here uh, that is successful. And then finally, if you'll click on the condition also, it is saying true. So this means it is approved. And you can see here, here the email come, the status change, everything has been done. Now, let me see if I received the email, you can see here, leave request approved, leave request approved. And this is the manager name. You can see here, we gave this name. So who is the approver name we gave. And then now let me check uh, the status. You can see here, the status has been changed as well. So this is how we can do an approval. If you have multiple level of approval, you can do that also. You can add steps in your uh, in your flows. For example, if you have, let's say sometimes you will be having multiple uh, approvals. So in this case, suppose once the manager approved, you, you want the HR people to be approved. So you can go here, add an action. And here you start one more approval from there. And then you can check a condition. You can add a condition. Then you can check the outcome and your flow will go that way. So this is how we can work with uh, or how we can retrieve the manager and you can do an approval.